it's enabled us to grow. Um, you know, we have opened up a new premises. Um, we're able to get the business information that we need out of the business quickly and efficiently. Emily, before we talk about the transformation that you made here in the business, where are we today? So we are at CNC 2010. We're based in Hertfordshire. We are a subcontract machine shop. Um, so we have a variety of CNC mills and lathes. Brilliant, and what kind of components are you making? Yeah, so we make for a variety of industries, actually. Um, so we serve a lot of biosciences, um, pharmaceutical sector, being in Hertfordshire. Um, and yeah, a variety of industries, actually. We did parts for an artist last week. Um, so yeah, we, we could try a hand at anything. Yeah, it's brilliant to be making different components every day, but every day you also have to run this business, make sure that it's being successful and hopefully growing. Um, when you first came into the business, when was that and what kind of challenges did you face? Yeah, so I came in about two years ago now um, and quite quickly I realised we had a real lack of business information um, and we couldn't run the business effectively. We have a lot of engineering expertise in this business, um, but being able to draw that information out was real, a real challenge. Yeah, and how did, uh, do you think um, engineering managers maybe don't value business management as much as the engineering expertise that's needed to run a good machine shop? Yeah, um, you know, engineering expertise are really, really important, but actually to move your business forward and to grow, you need that business information. Yeah, and what was happening? So uh, how, did, how did the lack of business information affect your quoting, uh, pricing up jobs, or even plan, trying to plan jobs around the machine shop? Yeah, we just had, um, real bottlenecks um, in our administration. Um, so we were typing information out multiple times a day um, to be able to process works orders through our business. And really we need to concentrate on the engineering side and moving that forward and you know really taking advantage of the advancements in that rather than worrying about whether or not our works orders are right and our invoicing's right. Yeah, when you've got good machine tools and good engineers, you don't want them to be waiting for someone to type out a Word document. Definitely not, no. No, and that's what we found. Um, you know, people were waiting on information. We couldn't make decisions quick enough uh, because we had that bottleneck. Absolutely. Um, so when did you decide that something had to be done? How, how, how did you come to the decision to make a change? Yeah, it was quite early on, actually. So I'd been in the business for about four months um, and I, I saw a, a need for a system, um, a business management system. Um, and that's when we stumbled across PSL Datatrack. Okay, um, and how did you stumble across it and how does it, um, you mean, we talked about a business management system, but this is specifically for machine shops, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and you know, we're, we're quite a small business. Um, so, you know, I, I spoke with Jeff and the team at PSL Datatrack um, to really understand if it could benefit us or, you know, if we were biting off more than we could chew. But actually, um, you know, it suits business of all sizes. Um, and we can still see benefits from it. Yeah, and what attracted you to that system? I think the ease of use. Um, I think after speaking with um, Jeff and the team at PSL Datatrack, um, they were really hands-on. You know, they really wanted us to succeed. And, you know, having worked in finance in the past, sometimes you install a new system and that's the last you hear from them. You know, you kind of have to, um, you know, you have to discover it yourself. But the training packages that they provide, you know, we could spread the cost over two years. It was really, um, yeah, really beneficial for us. Yeah, and being a small business, I guess there was a lot of processes and ways of doing things previously that were quite embedded. And it takes cultural change to adopt a new way of quoting, a way of invoicing customer, a way of planning jobs around. How did that cultural change work? Yeah, you know, that's, that is something that we had to consider um, when we first implemented the system. There was, you know, some pushback from, from people that had been here quite a, a few years who had done things for a, a certain way for, for a good number of years. Um, but once, you know, we embarked on the training and we discovered how much easier it make our lives, you know, the rest is history, really. And as a small business, a, a software system like this can be a, a, a serious consideration. How, how did they make it easy to invest? Yeah, so we were able to pick and choose which modules um, we needed for our business. You know, um, for a small business, we didn't need all of them to start with. Um, as we are progressing with the system, we're finding that things can be become more and more beneficial. Um, but really, we wanted to be able to walk before we could run. Um, yeah. And how's PSL Data Track replaced those older processes that were giving you that bottleneck? Yeah, so we are now able to go from a customer inquiry all the way to invoicing with a few clicks of a button. 
you know, rather than typing out information time and time again. What impact has that had on the business? Yeah, so previously um, we had a lot of bottlenecks in our administration process um, and we are able to now streamline those processes. I think we were always scared to grow because we, we saw those bottlenecks as a real problem. Um, but that frees up a lot of time um, and a lot of space for us to be able to facilitate growth. Um, we have now moved to a new premises um, and we've opened up a machine and a turning shop um, and that's freed up a lot of space for us to continue to um, invest in new machinery.